All right, so this video is gonna be about my thoughts on, you know, stocks, options, and now Forex in the sense of not only my little quick opinion about them, but my perspective on um, being in all three markets or in general being in multiple markets from my perspective. And the reason why I'm making this video is because um, I was uh, talking with someone on, on Twitter today and his name, because he, he found my video. So if you're watching this again, what's up, man? Thank you uh, for the comments on Twitter. His name is uh, Gregory Scott at uh, Zen underscore options on Twitter. If you want to follow me, it's arrow swole underscore. And um, we were having a conversation on Twitter and he was basically um, bringing to light the point of, you know, you could test out all these markets, but once you find out your strength, you should focus on that. And I agree. But my perspective is um, actually, first I should probably step back and explain my opinion on uh, those three markets. Um, the most experience I have is in stocks, then options, and now Forex is bitter last. I haven't even done my first trade, but I, I've understand and I've researched them throughout the years, and um, I'm currently practicing paper trading on Forex. Anyways, stock-wise, I think as an invest in, investment tool, long-term is the way to go. You know, buying a share into these great companies, especially when they're undervalued. Um, as a trading tool, 100%, I mean, the trends are there, you know, the patterns on you know, upcoming news, earnings season, things like that is very predictable, very straightforward. I think out of everything, it's the easiest one to pick up, it's the easiest one to start with. Um, the lower cap stock, paying stocks are very volatile, um, also predictable patterns and a great way to grow a small account. Those movers could be 800% moves in a day, it's crazy. And they can run for multiple days. They can go from a couple cents, like under a dollar to over $20 or even 40 at some point. So stocks is definitely where I would start and definitely where I rec recommend people to start. And I um, I love stocks. That's that's where, where all the hype started and where my interest grew from. Options, um, I moved into options because it was another way to grow my account and leveraging you know, money, you know, you could, have a small position in options and leverage it by 10 and it's it's amazing the uh, what you can do with options as long as you do it correctly it is a little more difficult because you do have to worry about the expiration dates it's different strike prices some contracts are not as um i guess valuable as others uh, you can even tell by just looking at the chart that just people aren't trading it there's no volatility in each contract so it's a it's a lot more difficult a lot more variables involved than stocks but i highly recommend it and I love it and I'm currently doing it now. And that's gonna be pretty much where most of my growth, at least for now, is gonna come from. Stocks is mainly value investing, but still opportunity to trade that. And then now Forex, which I think is probably the most difficult, not talking about futures, just out of these three, because Forex is 24 hours, um, almost seven times, seven days a week. It's um, a lot more different markets, a lot of different countries, political as um, a lot of much, a lot more political endeavors, different peoples, different languages. Like the, the, there's so many more variables involved with forex than um, options or stocks. It's it's incredible. But the fact that you have access to all these markets 24/7, um, the fact that you can leverage your positions on these trades. You know, I, I'm very, uh, my knowledge base on Forex is very slim compared to my other knowledge on stocks, but I definitely see a huge value in Forex and I'm currently seeing even more while I'm doing it and learning more about it. The fact, yeah, the fact that like I could trade, wake up at five in the morning like I do, trade the uh, morning stock market or all day stock market, you know, evaluate my investing, re search up more investing opportunities trade um what the uh, what's open in the morning uh, i forgot what's open in the morning but actually i could check in the morning um yeah pretty much at five is sao paulo chicago toronto and new york they are the markets so the u.s markets mainly 
and then right now it's 7:44. Tokyo, Sydney, and Wellington is open. So currently, I'm trading paper trading um, the Australian markets, and we had just had a huge fall. Wow. Um, I should probably sell. Anyways, um, yeah. So something happened. I'm paper trading, as you can, uh, you guys can see here. Because that's my new broker. I got the Pinker Swim uh, TD Ameritrade platform now instead of E-Trade, so I have access to the Forex markets. So that's definitely a big, it's probably a sell. Unless it just fakes people out, hits people's orders. Anyways, um, yeah, I think Forex allows another great opportunity to maximize profits, and I definitely want to have my, my foot in there, as well as grow my experience. And who knows, I may just focus on Forex. But at the end of the day, now that I've pretty much gave a little bit of opinion on all three markets at the time and very quickly, the idea, like my perspective on trading all three markets and not focusing on one is basically that there's opportunity in all of them. And I'm not saying I'm going to be trading stocks, options, and Forex all in one day. I'm saying mainly like maybe for instance, uh, there's some good potential earnings on one company. I may put a long position there leave that for a week or two all right um or just buy a long-term investment in there and just leave it leave it in my portfolio for three five years who knows or maybe i um i have so much of my capital allocated to other companies or other positions that i have a small amount and i see a potential trade in the next three months or two months or a couple weeks or even a year you know it, um there's this one position i was looking at if you wanted to buy like 100 option contracts for let's say Kraft Heinz, right? A year into the future, two years in the future, having huge reverse, you could turn, I don't know, $500 into six figures if, if it goes well. I mean, that's the potential. Obviously, a lot of things go into that. And now, Forex, the fact that it's open 24 seven, if you know I'm gonna be running a hedge fund, I could have a team here as well as a team overseas. We could talk in the morning or late at night and they could be trading over there. Um, I could be trading in the morning here, or if they're trading their markets in the morning, then I'm trading uh, their Forex markets at night. And if I'm trading my markets in the morning, like US markets, they're trading my uh, the US markets in their their nighttime. So things like that. So you could, there's so many things you could bounce off and grow. And one of the things I've been, from all the books I've been reading and people I've searched into is like, they, they don't shy away from markets. Like uh, they could be long value investing in companies, but they see the market's kind of crazy. They may uh, short the dollar and go long um, bonds or vice versa, whichever the, the correlation on that is. Uh, they could go, they could buy a position in gold to protect themselves from market recession. They, they see that, you know, China's having some issues on um, keeping up with the, their their market growth their the, they just had a huge you know china's having a huge problem right now with uh hong kong all the people that are protesting that could have an effect on their economy and their you could short their yen against the dollar so there's all these opportunities and it really doesn't take that much brain power to do it and especially if you're focused on long term it's less less like less attent uh, like you have to be less attentive to it in a, in a way but then not especially and if this is your life like why do you really care right so the so if um my buddy from twitter's watching this yeah like i totally understand what you're saying and for anyone else i probably might get shit for you know wanting to split up and who knows i'm young i may be naive at this point so i may learn may have a huge loss and you know what i just want to focus on one eventually but i'm not shying away and um i definitely think since i am young and i do want to learn i'm so embedded take up as much information as I can right now and just keep moving forward and we'll see what happens. So right now the next endeavor is Forex. And so far, I mean, I like it, I really do. I just gotta understand more of the technicalities of putting in orders and exiting and things like that. And once that goes, I could trade my morning stocks, go long options or just, you know, do my research and evaluating companies trade the forex market at night too you know my i was explaining this to my father the other night i'm like you know what the sydney market opened at seven right i think or 7 30 i was looking at it the other day that's where i'm paper trading right now and we were going out to dinner so i put in a long trade that i thought was good 
went out to dinner, came back like on the way back, it was like 11 and boom, I was up a couple hundred dollars. I'm like, you know what? That, that's the potential. And obviously that's very like not professional and you know, very miscellaneous, but it just shows what I mean. So just my thoughts on, you know, the three markets and um, my thoughts on splitting up your focus on different areas or um, be mastering different fields. At the end of the day, you know, it's like Arnold, you know, he was a bodybuilder, actor. Um, he was the governor of California. Like you, you're, you're not set in stone. You could do whatever you want and you could really, you know, spread yourself around. It's just a matter of what you personally can handle stress wise, uh, how mentally you can handle it, how physically you can handle it with sleeping and, you know, having a good diet and things like that, being alert. So it uh, really depends. And yeah, this is definitely a sell. This thing is selling off. So I'm going to take my position and uh, sell it probably. I'm going to watch that. Anyways, so yeah, those are my thoughts. And if anyone has any questions, put it in the comments or follow me on Twitter or on Instagram. I'm all around. And, um, or if you're not, if this barely gets any reaches, it's just for me and my thoughts. And who knows, 20 years, I'll look at this and be like, damn, fucking naive little kid. <laughs> um, but yeah, so see ya.